Hey everyone, welcome to 27th Basics of JavaScript video in which we're going to take a look at filter for arrays in JavaScript. So in the last video we took a look at how if you have let's say an array of uh, some numbers what you can do is basically get another array by using map on it and saying that a single element should be transformed according to the rule return let's say element divide by three right hit save and you're gonna see in console log we get 0 0.33331 1 1.6666 and 2 which makes sense right on a similar way what we can do is we can create a new array using something known as filter and what filter would do essentially is whatever condition uh, not really condition whatever the return value of this function would be if it's true then what happens is that that particular element is included in this new array otherwise it's not included so for example I'm gonna say element and what I'm gonna say that if element is greater than 2 let's say that if element is greater than 2 I'm gonna return true right otherwise I'm gonna return false it's safe and by the way you don't need curly braces if your if statement just has only a single statement right you can write without curly braces obviously I would just prefer you to use semicolons at the starting and finally you can just console log your new array so that you can see what it, its contents are right so you can see we get 356 because 356 is uh, essentially the elements which are greater than 2 which are present in our array right on a similar basis we can do stuff like this right if none of the conditions matches um, you're gonna get an empty array obviously right so this is how basically filter works for array and that's all for this video I'll see you then in the next one